you, right? But when you were 17 years old or whenever you started hitting the streets, you weren't like thinking, hey, I want to be an associate. You know, what was your game plan, you know, when you were growing up? And then how did you kind of end up getting into the life? Well, you know, uh, for me, I started really young, to be honest with you. Uh, I was already out there at, at, you know, 10 to 12 years old. I, I caught five year probation when I was 13 years old already, you know. So I was already stealing cars, shooting at people. Yeah, shooting at people and, you know, doing all that shit. Because at that time, uh, I was mainly around the Ridgewood boys. And for them at that era of that time was more about just beating people up. Like, you know, people wouldn't even walk through Gates Avenue. You know, it was locked down. It was, you know, not like you see today. People were scared to go down that block when we were out there, you know. But uh, so, yeah, from there, I got tired of that, though. And that's why I leaned and I ran. Uh, I started I was making money, like stealing cars and very young, even before those guys were even doing any of that stuff. And uh, that's why I kind of shied away from them. And I started hanging out with older guys. And in like, you know, the 91 period, I started hanging out with Johnny Boy Ruggiero. And I met a bunch of people with him. And I spent a lot of time around Peter Zaccaro. Interesting. Okay. I love Peter. He was a great guy. Johnny Boy was great, too, though. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. So the thing is, um, the thing is, you being around these guys and everything, um, rumor has it you were pretty deal decent at stealing cars. How quickly were you able to, you know, break in and, and get a car car started? Real fast, like gone in sixty seconds type of shit. It's so like, uh, so I'll tell you how we used to do it. Okay. Yeah. And, and eventually, we actually uh, got more. Uh, Tech savvy, let's say. But the way yeah. it started, we used to use a center punch, and you go up yeah. to the window, you push it, and it, and it set, like you, it's the same thing for your house. It has right. a spring in it, and when it pops, it shatters the window. Right. So if there's an alarm, the first thing you do is you you pop the you know the hood, and then you got a second guy that rips the noise off. Then we used to use what you call a pulley. Uh, it's actually used in body shops. Okay, you just bang twice into the ignition, you twist it in, you screw it in, and you just rip it out. And when you do that, there's little teeth inside the, you know, the ignition there, and you stick the screwdriver in, start it, and you're gone. It's really fast. I love it. So basically, George, who does our clips, we got a perfect clip on how to steal, steal a car in 60 seconds. I know cars are a little bit different now, but nevertheless, like it's nice little uh, didactic training there. All right. So usually when you're around these guys, right, Johnny Boy Ruggiero, his father was quack quack. His father was, you know, at the time at least or, or before then, uh, mob royalty in that area, right? Uh, but typically you become friends with these guys, yes. but you offer some value, right? Like, the, let's be honest, the mob is kind of selfish. Were you like the car guy? A lot of was, value. You know, a lot of value. Yeah. What, what was your, what, what did you offer these guys? I so the deal with them was, uh, so for example, uh, I was big on, I, I'm known for stick-ups and that's what I used to do. I, I, I probably did. I know I, it could be a little more, a little less, but I'll just say, let's say I did 20 of them. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so I did about three big stick-ups with a lot of marijuana, which involved like way over a hundred pounds. Now I'm a 17 year old kid. So yeah. I was able to move some of that on the street and I'd set up little spots with little Spanish kids in the area and stuff like that. But to dump the big weight, like, so let's say uh, one hit, I had 130 pounds. I, I dumped a hundred pounds through Johnny boy. And, um, I kept the 30 and sold it slowly. And 